What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video and happy post WWDC 2021 where we had some pretty great software announcements. In today's video, we're just going to talk about some of the top announcements that came out of it as well as a special shout out to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. They're one of my favorite apps and we are going to be talking about it soon. But first, let's just get right into this and talk about iOS 15. Now with iOS 15, FaceTime definitely got a huge upgrade. We now have SharePlay, which means that you can actually watch content, listen to music, share your screen with people over FaceTime. I feel like this could be really helpful. I know a lot of the times like my mom or my dad or my grandma will call me and they'll be like, how do I do something on my phone? I can now just be like, share your screen with me and I can walk them through it. We also now have grid mode as well as spatial audio. There's also going to be different mic modes as well as FaceTime links where you can actually send someone a link, which I do think is actually really, really smart. A lot of people were saying like, RIP Zoom. I don't think that's gonna happen. WebEx is still gonna be a thing. Zoom is still gonna be a thing. So I think that now being able to send a FaceTime link and to be able to join that way, as well as putting it in your calendar and scheduling, I do think that that's gonna be interesting and I think it's a good idea because when you send a join FaceTime to a group chat, it's terrible. It's terrible. There's also the new share with you section where there's going to be content or links when they're shared with you. They will then go in a separate section. I am constantly going back to group chats and looking for pictures or links and I can never find them. It's just super messy. So now having that share with you section is going to be incredible. Focus is something that I'm excited about. Do not disturb is a feature that I try to use and I want to use at night, but I'm always really scared if there's like an emergency that no one will be able to actually reach me, which it unfortunately has happened before and I wake up in a panic checking my phone and I'm like, oh my gosh. So Focus is now actually going to to um, send a notification and let person who is texting you know that you have your phone on Do Not Disturb. So now with the Do Not Disturb, you can actually choose which notifications you want to see and customize it that way, which is pretty great. Apple Maps also got an upgrade, which is interesting because people are now thinking like, oh, these are some serious upgrades. Do we think maybe they're preparing for an Apple car? And you also can get step-by-step -step directions with augmented reality, which is pretty cool. Safari also got an update. We're gonna have a new tab design, which will help maximize your space and also not have the tabs stand out as much. Digital identity was announced for the Apple wallet. I'm excited for the future of digital identity. I'm excited to have it in my phone. If I could have my license in my phone, you know, maybe we have our vaccine cards in our phone. I'm sure that's a touchy subject, but put it on my phone. I don't wanna to have to ever carry a wallet ever again. On the health section, they also made some pretty impressive announcements and they announced that you can actually share your health data with your loved ones or with your doctor. So if I wanted to share my health report with my family, I could send that to them and they would be getting live updates as I was doing it. So say I was, you know, doing maybe my blood pressure or I got lab results. If I shared it with my family, they would be able to see, which I feel like can be really beneficial if, you know, you're worried about like a loved one or a parent or something like that or your, you know, your kids. So I feel like Apple has always Always done a really good job in the health section, minus the cycle tracker. That's just absolutely terrible. I don't want to talk about that. There's so many other things for iOS 15, but let's get in to macOS Monterey. So I'm excited for macOS Monterey and all of the updates, but before we talk about them, let's talk about today's sponsor, which is Clean My Mac. And I want to talk about why you should be using Clean My Mac X. So Clean My Mac X is an all-in-one cleaning and optimizing software for your Mac. I use this on a daily basis, especially because I have been using the M1 13-inch MacBook Pro, which only has 256 gigs of storage, which is not a lot for what I do. So what I normally do is I open up Clean My Mac right here. I do a smart scan. This smart scan will then tell me files that I can delete, files that may be old, and things that I'm not using that are just taking up space on my computer. Okay, and it will give you a summary of what it found. Protection okay, speed three, three tasks to run, and 321 megabits to clean up. And we are cleaning up. SmartScan is the app's most popular feature because it is the easiest to use. Another really helpful tool is that Clean My Mac also lets you know of all the apps that you have installed on your computer as well as the permissions. So over here in the panel, you can see the uninstaller if you see anything you wanna uninstall. Space lenses, large and old files is definitely something that I do the most because there's sometimes just large files that are sitting there taking up space. And of course we have privacy and malware removal. Optimization is another great feature. These are the login items. 
items. I do not want these to start on login, so I'm going to remove them. Clean My Mac X also rolled out native support for any Apple Silicon devices, and it works incredible. So if you guys are interested in checking out Clean My Mac X, there's going to be a link in the description. I cannot recommend it enough, especially if you're like me and you're constantly kind of struggling for storage. It is a lifesaver. And if you're gonna be getting ready for Mac OS Monterey, I highly recommend you download it and try it out. So let's talk about what's coming to Mac OS Monterey. Similar to iOS, we do have the FaceTime upgrades and with SharePlay as well as spatial audio. And we also are going to have the share screen, which I feel like might be a little bit more beneficial on a computer, especially if it's work related. That's gonna be a really great feature. We do have grid view, spatial audio, as well as the mic modes, portrait mode. Portrait mode is also going to be coming with the new updates, which is pretty great. With the messages, we're also going to have the share with you section, as well as photo collection. Multiple photos and messages now appear as a collage. The Safari update on Mac OS is going to be really nice as well, especially since I use Safari basically for everything. Focus on Mac OS is also going to be pretty great. Up here you see you can customize what you want, maybe your coding, gaming, personal, work, sleep. Mine's probably always gonna say sleep. Quick notes is something that I'm actually pretty excited about because I'm constantly jotting down things and then I never know where it is and it's just messy. So with Quick Notes, it's your go-to app to capture any thought. Um, you can put anything in a Quick Note with links, Safari highlights, tags, mentions to a Quick Note. Quick Notes will also work along with your Mac, iPad, or phone, so they will all work seamlessly together. We also are now gonna have tags, which is pretty cool, so you can organize things based on tags. Universal control is also pretty exciting, so now with a single keypad or a trackpad or a mouse, you can actually switch between your Mac or your iPad. If you have it close enough, it will automatically sense it. You can then connect it and just use one mouse, trackpad, or keypad with multiple devices. AirPlay to Mac, not gonna lie, I didn't know that that wasn't even an option. I thought that was already a thing. Live text, we also now have support for live text, so if you take a photo of something, it will pull it out as live text. Shortcuts is now coming to Mac. I don't use shortcuts, I should. I I should use it. Also a lot of great privacy updates as well as iCloud Plus. Let's talk about watchOS. Photos. Photos on watchOS is pretty exciting. Portrait mode photos from iPhone now on your watch face. I'm probably not gonna want any of those um, of myself, but maybe if it's of like our dog or something that's pretty cool. Um, also, new memories serve daily. That's nice, unless it's like a bad memory or like someone I don't wanna see, then I hope that there's a way to quickly say, I don't wanna see you. Something to think about, Apple. With a few taps, you also now can share photos. So that's pretty cool. So if a photo pops up and you're like, oh, remember this, I can then send it to whoever I wanna send it to from my watch, which is pretty neat. Also now on the Apple Watch, we now have some new home integrations. So here they give the example, you may be able to unlock or lock your door. I actually have been doing that from my watch anyway, but with my voice and home kit. So here with this doorbell notification on your Apple Watch, you can actually get a preview of what's happening as well as do a two-way talk. One of the things I was the most excited about with the Apple announcement was the messages and mail. Something about voice to text on the Apple Watch is always super messy and then you can't really adjust it so then it sends it. So then like I'm constantly trying to be like, no, 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 I meant this, I meant this. And it's just this whole paragraph of messy text that just makes me not look so great. So now you're actually able to edit those messages before you send them, which realistically I'm probably gonna still just send the messy ones and they can figure it out. We also now can send GIFs from the Apple Watch. Focus, once again, uh, available on the uh, Apple Watch. With sleep, you can also know your sleeping respiratory rate by calculating your breaths per minute as you slumber. I should try that because I don't really sleep well. A lot of great things came out of the WWDC 21. We did not get any hardware. I think we all just want the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1. We didn't get it, but we did get some really great stuff with iOS 15 and Mac OS as well as watch OS. So I I feel happy, I feel pretty good about it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite announcement was and what you are most excited about. Make sure you check out the link in the description if you want to download Clean My Mac X. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again soon for a new video. I think that's all.